Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show, where I try to make sense of this crazy Arizona real estate market and make you an expert. Keep watching between now and the holidays, and by the time the holiday parties roll around, you will be a real estate expert. When somebody says, have you heard how the market's doing? That's your moment. Walk over there, take on the day. They'll probably never talk to you the rest of the night, but you will be a wealth of information. Now, I just got back from a little mini trip I took about two hours north of me here between uh, up in the Verde Valley between Sedona and Jerome in Cottonwood this RV resort called Sedona View RVs it sits up on a hill and you can see the whole valley the weather was terrific until Monday Monday afternoon there was an F1 tornado that touched down just north of Williams which is west of Flagstaff and then that whole system rolled over the top of me and um I thought my trailer was going to tip over. Fortunately, none of them did, but I was hanging on for dear life. And I saw this young couple from Wisconsin sitting out in their travel trailer, sitting in their lounge chairs. They got their awning out. They look like they're getting ready to pour a glass of wine and just watch the storm blow by. And I walked over to them and I said, hey, guys, um, just an FYI. I've only seen this kind of rotation two other times in Arizona where the cloud starts rolling and turning and turns into like a long hot dog and it usually doesn't end well and if you look at the, where the clouds are moving this is going to go right over the top of us so i would roll up your awning take everything that you want to keep and put it away because this is going to get ugly and ugly it did 50 60 mile an hour winds um it just i couldn't open the door to my trailer because i couldn't push against the the wind so i was stuck in there like a sardine uh, but very interesting if you saw my youtube short that i put on a monday afternoon i was sitting inside the trailer filming out the window <laughs> hanging on for dear life but enough about my weather adventures what is going on here's active listing see how they're climbing and climbing well here's why they're climbing and the reason that they're climbing i keep showing everybody this is that this average number of homes coming into contract keeps going down even further, we're down to 2475. We were up to about 2800. Now you got this spike here. And what the heck is this spike of new listings that has come up? It's back on market. Now, back on market can mean a lot of different things. It can mean that people um, pulled their house up to market for whatever reason, and now they decided, well, okay, let's, let's put it on again. Um, or it could mean, and this is what I think it means, that there were a lot of listings out there that were under contract and um, people didn't get a rate lock and they were still kind of floating their rate and the rate spiked up and they can't get the financing. So that contract was canceled. They put the home back on the market. That's my feeling. That's what I think that's, that's all about. So we're going to have to watch that and uh, see if I don't think it's much of a trend. Uh, we also have expireds that spiked up like crazy. And I'm going to show you a chart on that for just a moment. But as expected, I uh, saw an article the other day that said buyers spooked by interest rates. They're not spooked. They're just knocked out of the game um, with house prices being as high as they are still. And interest rates uh, climbed up to 7.75. You can see that line went straight down when it came to listings under contract. And so we're a very rate sensitive market and we will continue to be this way all year unless there's any uh any black swan events that come uh, there's certainly a lot of opportunities for our credit markets to be in huge trouble and you just read and see the interest rate predictions are all over the board interest rates are going to come down the first quarter uh, the feds are going to pivot uh, interest rates are going to go high because they have no choice because our payments on the debt are going to force the feds to you know in order to sell their treasuries to get higher interest rates so you you can find an art you can find an article that fits your theory on where rates are going to go all we can do is watch and see what happens but it's having an effect now if you look at the average sales price here in the valley it's it's coming down this is lagging data so whatever the list price was last month shows up as a monthly average sales price so you can see how it's coming down a little bit puzzling thing is now i look at our average list price per square foot on active listings and it's flatlined for some reason now i expect this to start hitting 2021 levels pretty soon but and then going well below it because last year we started going you know up as we got into the first of 2022 these this is when rates 
right here were really low. So I expect this number to be below 2021 levels in about two to three weeks. But here's the story on expired listings. Last year, for the total of the year, we had 3,299. We're already at 3,260, and we still have October, November, December to go. So for those real estate agents that like to bang the phones and call the expired listings, this is your season. <laughs> for those of you that have an expired listing, maybe a good time to change your phone number because they're going to call you like crazy. They just they buy the numbers. They, they can find you. Can, they'll find you. And uh, they'll say, hey, um, how come your house didn't sell? Well, I don't know. Well, let me tell you about my method. And uh, that's just the way the game's played. And uh, I did that maybe twice. I hated it. I don't like getting calls of somebody trying to sell me something. And uh, I usually try to have fun with them unless they get really, really pushy. And then I, I just hang up. I get people try to call me and sell me something all the time every week. And one guy was trying to sell me something a couple weeks ago, and I kept trying to say, well, actually, well, actually, and he wouldn't let me talk. I had no choice but to go hang up. So that's what's going on in the market. Let's keep watching these numbers and see what happens. It's a very interest rate sensitive market. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button.